Moving on to the first question. Explicit trigonometric ratios sin a, secant a, and tan a in terms of cot a. Now moving on to the solution. In order to express one trigonometric ratio in terms of other trigonometric ratio, we have three identities that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 and secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 and cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. So by using these three identities we can convert one trigonometric ratio into other. Now let us initially consider the conversion of sin a in terms of cot a. In order to convert sin a in terms of cot a, let us consider the identity which suits the conversion of sin a in terms of cot a easily. If, if we observe the third identity, we have the identity in terms of cosecant and cot. So it is easy for us to convert cosecant into sin by using the formula that cosecant theta is equal to 1 by sin theta. So instead of theta here we have a. So let us apply the third identity and cosecant theta is equal to 1 by sin theta and by applying those two formulas let us obtain sin a in terms of cot. So considering the third identity that is cosecant square a minus cot square a is equal to 1 which implies cosecant square a can be written as 1 by sin a whole square which is nothing but 1 by sin square a minus cot square a is equal to 1 that implies 1 by sin square a is equal to by transposing minus cot square a into right hand side we get 1 plus cot square a on right hand side which implies sin square a let us transpose sin square a from left hand side to right hand side that becomes sin square a is equal to 1 by 1 plus cot square a. Now by applying the square root on both sides we get sin a is equal to 1 by under root of 1 plus cot square a. Now let us express secant a in terms of cot a. In order to express secant a in terms of cot a, it is better to consider secant, t secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to one identity as secant square theta is already available and if we could express tan theta in terms of cot, it is possible for us to establish a relation between secant theta and cot theta that is by considering the identity that is secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 and replacing theta with a we get secant square a minus tan square a is equal to 1 which implies secant square a minus tan square a can be written as 1 by cot a whole square which is nothing but 1 by cot square a as tan a is equal to 1 by cot a that implies secant square a is equal to 1 plus 1 by cot square a now by taking lcm as cot square a we get the expression as cot square a plus 1 by cot square a that implies now by applying square root on both sides we get secant a is equal to square root of 1 plus cot square a divided by cot a and he also asked us to express tan a in terms of cot a which is nothing but 1 by cot a we know it